This episode of Capes and Lunatics is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Hello and welcome back. It's been another month, another episode of the Nightwing News. I am Phil and returning our world traveler. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kristen. And well, we got some stuff in it. Well, we got a Nightwing issue, but we got some stuff in the news to talk about too. And Young Justice returned. <sighs> All right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, where should we go first? Uh, I think let's do the issue. Oh, you want to do the issue first? Okay. Sure. I mean, you know, that's the most Nightwingy thing that's happened. Yeah, I know. I didn't know if we should save the Nightwing for last, but yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, Nightwing sixty-two. Sixty-two. All are, right. Are are you the villain tie-in? Yeah, I am cautiously optimistic. Um, I liked what I read so far. Well, there were a couple things that made me sad because he was like, that rich man showed up and I can't yeah. care about them. I don't remember. And I was like, because eh. <laughs> um, that just feels that feels a little artificial to me because part of Dick's thing is that he's someone who really cares about people. So it's, you know, obviously he really cares about B and these new people, so it seems odd that he would just, like, be so totally blowing those those people off. Um, so I feel like that's not necessarily in character. That's just there for the sake of plot convenience um, or whatever. So that's something made me like, eh. uh, But I am pretty excited to see where this goes. Um yeah, of course, right at the end when he was, you know, like, oh, I'll give you your grandson, and you know, now that he doesn't have the Batman holding him back, but I'm pretty sure, and this better be what happens, is that, of course, Dick doesn't need Batman to be a good person. Like, he is a good person. Batman didn't make him a good person. <laughs> he is just that way, and so even when he doesn't remember the Batman's code, he still will not become an owl. I know. I mean, this was, I thought this was like a, one of the better issues since this whole thing started. Maybe the best yeah, yeah. whole thing started, but I don't know. Again, it's like, are they spinning the wheels? Because it's like, he's wearing a new costume and it's like, again, why are we still do I mean, I get it. If you don't want to give him his memory back, fine. But if he's putting a suit on, why isn't he putting a Nightwing suit on? Which I, ha I have a, yet another theory about that. Because we said about the whole Tom King thing, but didn't they say in season two of Titans, uh, He's become a Nightwing. We're getting the Nightwing suit. Yeah, I think that's what they. I think that's what they said. I wonder if they're waiting to coincide with that to bring him back. I wonder. And when he get when he becomes Nightwing again, is he going to get a new suit that just coincidentally looks like you know the the TV suit? Uh, well, I guess it depends on what the team. I don't know. Marvel and DC. It seems like they always like to like I don't know sway that way. With, you know, closer to the the TV shows and movies. You know. Oh yeah. Like they think they're going to like dragging new people or something uh, i guess that depends on what the nightwing suit looks like because they seem to have at least figured out now that since he's been in although i know the finger stripes come and go but that's sort of like basic finger stripe suit this one yeah uh, they seem to know that they have a winner there um and so they pretty much keep it as so long as they might basically keep it to that yeah, I think it'll be black and blue. I think they've learned their lesson there. I think it's just going to be what configuration, the black and the blue, you know. Right, but yeah, hopefully it will be pretty soon. But yes, I'm, I mean, I'm thinking, but I mean, you know, I don't know. But I'm thinking that the owls must do some, I mean, because they mess with your brain and that kind of stuff. Um, and that presumably, I feel like he'll get his memory back through something that the owls do. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's well, yeah, I, mean, I guess that's what I hope. I feel like I don't know. It's comic books and this kind of stuff, so I feel like there should be magic in there, magic in there somewhere where you get your memory back. So I'm just, I'm just waiting for that to happen. Batman, the Court of Owls. Somebody, I sw somebody probably has like a backup of his brain on their computer somewhere. Right. Yeah. Or the owls do something, and then it's like, oh, the thing that was blocking. I mean. 
I don't really understand amnesia. I'm not that kind of doctor. But, like, obviously comic books don't really understand amnesia either. Um, I mean, they just use it as a convenient plot device. So why can't the owls do something and all of a sudden whatever's blocking his brain is unblocked? And he's like, oh, I remember my life with Bruce Wayne and stuff. Particularly because he was in that episode, he was like, oh, the redhead and the butler and the rich man and the kid. I'm like, oh, Damien. You know, like, I want him to get his memory back so he can be... Yeah. I mean, I mean, surely DC's figured out that one of the things people love about Nightwing is the connections he has to other characters. Oh, so, yeah. even though we don't necessarily want him to... It's like, yeah, we don't want him to be playing a sidekick to Batman, but we also don't want him to never interact with other people in the Bat family. So, like... I- I, and then, like, he told B, like, his whole life story, you know, I used to be Robin and everything. Right. I'm just worried, if, you know, uh, is that is that, so, is that what's going to shock him back into being uh, his old self? Or, or are the court owls or someone going to kill B? I know, I'm nervous. I feel like something bad is really, something really bad is going to happen to him. I, 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 I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just worried they're setting that up as, you know, man pain and, you know. I know she might be getting fridged, and that yes. would be, yeah. yeah, I know because I like her. Mm-hmm. She's cool. She's she's nice. I know, she, but I was just like, oh my lord! Now she knows all the secrets. I know exactly. Yeah, it's like it, it, it's yeah. a hop, it's a hop, skip, and a jump to her figuring out Bruce Wayne is Batman. I'm like, oh no, is she is she dead soon? Well, and even her, no, like not. Yeah, of course. It's like people are. I mean. I don't understand how people don't put it together instant instantaneously. Um, I mean, I understand that it's just kind of funny because they used to, I mean, maybe they do others, you know, yeah. but one of the things was like, Tim's so smart. He figured out who Batman and Robin were, but you're like, I feel like that is not the best example of how smart Tim is because <laughs> more people should be able to figure it out. Well, they, they kind of retconned it, but I think, but in New Fifty Two, that's right. uh, I mean, Lex Luthor figured out who who Batman was for after Dick got outed. Remember? Uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's not that hard. No, exactly. It's like, oh, who ra- you know who raised him after his parents died, and who has lots of money to be Batman? Hmm. Right. I mean, you feel. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because we live in a world with superhero comics, but I feel like. Seeing Batman and knowing his gadgets, you should be like, Batman's a rich guy who has emotional issues. I bet it's Bruce Wayne because his parents were murdered. Yeah, I mean, unless, I'm trying to, I think it's still in canon, but when uh, Grant Morrison did Batman Incorporated, he had Bruce come out and say, you know, and hold a big press conference and say, hey, I fund the Batman, I buy all his stuff. So, I mean, that's the only thing. Right, yeah, so that could work if you tried tried something like that. But, yeah, I mean, it's fine, whatever. Yeah. Only suspension of disbelief. It's just, it's just funny. Once I was many years ago, but I saw some funny. I want to say it was on like crack.com or something, but it was this video where it was girl, teenage girls having a slumber party. It was like city, and in their uh, slumber party, they were like, "Oh my god, Bruce Wayne is Batman!" <laughs> and and then like immediately the Gotham police came in and they were like, "No, he's not," and whatever. And they were like, "You have to." Uh, it was, and they were basically like, you have to take down this video you put saying Bruce Wayne is Batman or we're taking you to jail or whatever. And then at the very end, Commissioner Gordon turns and looks at somebody and he's like, the squirrels were 15. I can't believe it took them that long to figure it out. Or <laughs> something <laughs> like that. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. But yeah, and then I wonder what uh, if, if Dick's going to come up with, or Rick is going to come up with a new code name for himself because he's wearing this suit with like, what is that, silver, gray pads like on his shoulders and his knees and stuff. Yeah, where did he get that? I thought he didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> he stole it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows. Uh, uh, whatever, it's fine. It's hand wavy stuff, because I feel like uh, I don't know. What That's maybe something that, I don't know if this is a male thing or something, but I never quite understand why so many people in comics are like, I don't want your money. <laughs> whatever. I'm like, if somebody was going to make sure I had a roof over my head, I would be okay with that. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think they're just, again, I don't know if there's like some behind the scenes reason why they don't want him with Bruce Wayne because of the whole Tom King stuff or just you know, it's like, oh, well, oh, they don't want people to say, oh, he's just a hero because of Bat- Batman buys all his stuff, you know. Right. It just feels like but this is real. if this were the real world, surely... That would be like, okay, it's Bruce would be like, okay, I understand you don't remember me, 
but like I really don't want you to be homeless. So how about you live in this apartment? <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, have they retconned everything? Because I swear at one point, and then he have like a the life insurance settlement from his parents. Then was he making money from the Haley Circus? I mean, I swear they've come up with. Yeah, well, that was a new fifty two. Then he like lost a bunch of his money when the circus got burned down or something. <laughs> that but yeah i mean i don't understand well that's the other thing is he was in bloodhaven before he got shot so like he has an apartment somewhere yeah well that, that I remember that he has an apartment well again how long was he in the hospital uh i mean yeah I, that's true was bruce paying the rent i don't know but it's just well, i feel like it's an apartment in bloodhaven and bruce is a gazillionaire surely he could afford to pay Diggs like exactly. 500 dollars rent on his one bedroom and then he could be like hey you already have this apartment. Why don't you go live in it instead of s- couch surfing on people's houses that don't know it? But that was the funniest thing in this issue is just like, you know, he was he was protecting Blood Haven before he got shot. But then, you know, now he's like, oh, no, everything from that part of my life is done with. But where's the first place he runs back to? Blood Haven. Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what? Yeah. Funny. Oh, you know what I wanted to ask you? Because... Nightwing's like the only like current book you're reading from DC right now, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. What did you think of the little, like the Lex Luthor stuff at the end? Were you confused or? Yes, yeah. What what Lex Luthor is like in a machine or something? I mean, long story short, I mean he got he's got like a cosmic upgrade. He's ba- he basically like faked his own death and like he's he like gave away his fortune to like. Yeah, basically he wants people to be bad, and then, like, in all the books, he's been going around to, like, different criminals and stuff, and, like, offering, that, like, them help and support to, like, you know, take down different heroes and stuff. So, oh, so Lex is, like, a big behind-the-scenes guy in this year, the villain. Yeah, yeah, he's basically the main catalyst. He's basically, hey, let me buy you some, let me buy you some help here, uh, kid. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, basically, he, yeah, all this month, he's been, like... A, coming to everybody at the end of the, you know, a villain or somebody. Uh, okay. In the last, I think it was last week, maybe, or the week before. Yeah, he came to Jason. He came to Jason in the Red Hood book, and he's he wants uh, Red Hood to train to train some bad guys. Oh, interesting. He, who's, in, who's in Red Hood's crew now? Is it still the same as when, as Rebirth, or did they change it up? Uh, well, Artemis and Bizarro are kind of lost in the multiverse right now. Uh, he was mixing it. He, uh, he had a new wingman and uh what was that name? dude's name bunker from the new 52 titans uh but yeah it looks like he well he was running he he locked up oswald cobblepot and uh was running the iceberg casino but now it looks like he's doing all this year the villain stuff i don't know if he's gonna go undercover because lex is like you were trained by batman here come train the troops mm, okay because yeah what is starfire and teen titans um yeah. No, um, I'm not reading it, but there's like a, what is it, Justice League Odyssey? There's like a team out in space, and it's like Starfire, Cyborg, and a couple other people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what's up with Roy? Is he still dead? Roy, Roy's still dead, supposedly, yeah. Okay. Unless he, uh, unless he's Leviathan. <laughs> Wally's still dead? Um, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. Heroes, Heroes in Crisis, there was a weird thing where... He in the last issue they did something weird. I don't know if it, they were trying to change stuff at the last second, but he based, basically with time travel he sent like a dead clone of himself back to complete the time, the the time loop or whatever, and then they kind of locked him up. Wow! But then I don't know what they're doing because I guess I think sometime in the next few months they're they're coming out with a new I think it's called Flash Forward. It's a mini series, but it's going to be like a Wally centric mini series. So oh, that's cool. So. I don't know if they're going to try to correct some stuff. Okay, well, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. They kind of got a lot of Wally stuff to correct. It's gotten a bit confusing, to say the least. Yeah. And then, I'd seen it a while ago, but I know you said um, that you saw that they uh, mentioned that in the Young Justice book, Brian Michael Bendis is going to uh, give Tim Drake a new identity. Yeah, is that is the Young Justice book the only book Tim's in right now? Or yeah. Is that- yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well... Because he was in, he was in Detective Comics for a while with Spoiler and a whole team, and then like yeah. they kind of shut that whole thing down. Yeah, and then Tim kind of hooked back up with Young Justice, and right now they're like kind of lost in the multiverse. I was gonna say because technically Young Justice is not the same. Well, I don't know if they're gonna try to like I don't know if they're trying to add like make that past stuff canon because like all of a sudden they're like wait a minute. 
we remember being a team. What the what the heck happened? Oh, okay. But I mean, if I think the idea was like the Wonder Comics was kind of a separate universe or something, but. It, uh, I mean, that's the way they play it, but I don't know if it's like a separate universe or more like, oh yeah, all the other books won't really affect these books. I, I'm, I think the main thing is just like it's supposed to be for, I don't know, like a like younger readers or teen readers maybe. I mean, which is fine personally. I thought that when the new Fifty Two came out, that instead of doing that, that's what they should have done was mm-hmm. keep on keeping on in one in what they were doing and then do other stuff or whatever or that they could or that they could have been like whatever I mean, oh. comics, you can do whatever you want so you didn't have to reboot you could have just been like hey that universe is over let's have a new one and don't get me started on the whole superboy situation okay yeah because they because yeah connor ken's back with young justice but meanwhile superman has a son but brian michael bendis is writing the superman book so he kind of aged up back Lois and Clark's, what is he, 10 or 11 year old son? Now, well, Jonathan Kent that's in the Super Sons with Damien, right? Yeah, but he, he Ben this, read that one out there. Ben, well, ben this aged him up. Now he's like more like 17 or, so, or something. Confusing. Because, well, Ben this, I guess, is uh, relaunching a, a Legion of Superheroes book. So I guess they're sending Jonathan Kent to the future to be in the Legion of Superheroes. Wow. That's yeah, confusing. that's confusing. <laughs> yes, I know. And they wonder. So does that mean Super Sons is going to be over? Well, they even said when they still. Well, Super Sons was only twelve issues. It was like a maxi series. Oh, it was. Oh, okay. But they even said when it started, they're like, "Oh, this is before all the Bendis stuff." Oh, okay. I didn't realize that it was a maxi series. Yeah, so. they even like promoted it when it started. They're like, "Oh, yeah, this is like the you know." Okay. John and Damien's last ride before you know stuff changes. Oh, I see. okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Dang, yeah. Boy, and they wonder why they're not getting new readers. I know, I'm like, I know these people, and I'm like, oh. Oh. it's like you decide to drop a couple books, and man, it's it's complicated. Especially with Bendis, he always like tries to reinvent the wheel wherever he goes. So, so then what's up with like Gotham Girl and them? Are they gone, or are they still hanging out in Detective? Um, Gotham Girl just uh. Well, Batman seventy five came out this week. Uh, Tom King's still using Gotham Girl. Oh, he is okay. Oh my lord, yeah, and uh, yeah, the the Flashpoint Batman's running around. So, oh yeah, I've seen that. Right, yeah. He doesn't want his son to be Batman. So, right, yeah, yeah. I haven't really been. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. That's Batman. what I'm, I'm thinking. If not before, by the end of the year, we might get Nightwing back because yeah, Tom King's off the Batman book in like I think the end of the year. Right, yeah, he was supposed to be up through like a hundred or something, but they're cutting it short. Yeah, now he's getting like eighty five or eighty six. Yeah, but th- but then he's gonna do like a Batman Catwoman like twelve issue series. Oh, okay. Well, Although she showed, spoilers, she showed up in the last page of Batman seventy five this week with okay. kind of like you know saving Batman. So okay, and then is Cass still around as Orphan? Or yeah. She yes. To- yes. Okay. Yeah, there's a new Batman in the Outsider Siders book. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And she's on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's there with uh, them and Black Lightning and. Okay. All right, but in the main books, like Tim is gone, kind of. Yeah, like I said, right now Tim's just in Young Justice. Okay. Because they're kind of floating around the multiverse, but yeah. So, any any thoughts on like a new name or costume for Tim? Hmm. I don't know. You said he's calling himself Robin, right? But he's wearing a red Robin outfit, or is it the no. other? It's the other way around. He's he's oh, still calling okay. himself Red Robin, but he's like it kind. Of, his suit kind of looks like his original, you know, red and yellow suit. Oh, okay. Yeah. But in base, instead of one R on his chest, he has like two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Do you think it'll be a new name and a new suit? Um, I'm thinking. I just wonder. You know, between I don't know if they wanted him not to have Robin in his name anymore, you know, kind of like, hey, Dick Grayson graduated, even uh, Jason Todd is Red Hood, not, you know, there's no Robin in his name. And, right. And I just wonder if they're just like, wonder if there's pressure or if they're just sick of like, hey, you know, there's a restaurant named Red Robin, right? Right. I mean, it feels like Red Robin is kind of the weakest, it's kind of the weakest entry. Um. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they kind of passed that identity down because it's like it originally showed up in Kingdom Come where you know Dick was in a possible future that was Dick and then 
later during uh what was that uh countdown or something maybe like jason todd was like going through the multiverse he picked up the suit but then in the minute he got back he threw it away yeah i don't know i would i don't care what the name well as long as it's not a stupid name i i I don't care what the <laughs> name. high bar though <laughs> i know I, I mean as long as it's a, it's a decent name i don't care what the name is but i wish he would get a suit back like his uh red robin suit from like you know right before new 50 yeah the one that the bolero that's what you call that right with the crossover that covered most of his head yeah 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 that was probably the best the wings ones were kind of like what yeah the new 52 one was horrible but we just don't work well i mean when Ned, when dick was nightwing and he had that second costume that had the wings that was hands down the worst nightwing costume yeah but yeah well when he yeah. when he covered most of his head i'm like this makes sense i mean it's going to cover your face more keep your identity more of a secret and two you can kevlar that thing up yeah yeah it'll be in it'll be usually, i mean yeah i don't really have any good guesses as to what it'll be but it'll be interesting if they try to pick something that's in because i mean even though um technically nightwing was a name that had been used before i mean most people don't really know that i mean that's definitely yeah a, it definitely felt like a new name, but that and that also felt really organic to the char- you know to the character Dick was in the eighties, and I think they've kept that well. That it makes sense that he would take a name from his buddy Superman, but still operate in like a Batman kind of capacity. But and offhand, I don't think of anything that has popped into my head like that for Tim. I mean, it would be cool if they could find something like that. Yeah, but I don't I don't know offhand what it would be. And so- and, and just tangentially, just the connection to the name, I guess they said they're going to have, like, the Kryptonian Nightwing on Season 2 of Krypton. I mean, they're in Season 2, so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if there's how many episodes are even left, but yeah, supposedly they're going to have the Kryptonian Nightwing and Flamebird, so. I do, they better not make Tim Flamebird, though. <laughs> nah, uh, that feels no. That feels no. <laughs> no. I mean, is somebody running around with the name Flamebird right now? Because that's always possible. Uh, sometimes uh, they- flame bird but i don't know what's up with her the last person i think i remember being flame bird was uh that woman's cousin yeah betty kane right yeah or, i'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. yeah so yeah hopefully yeah hopefully we don't get that. yeah, but, yeah you know. that that starts in uh october but the batwoman show right and these are not i always get confused but they're not on dc universe right they're on actual tv yeah, yeah, yeah. They are on the CW network. Um, I don't know if they'll make it to. They might make it to the DC universe eventually because I think I think DC is eventually pulling all their stuff off and like, where is it? Netflix or whatever. Mm, okay. Because yeah, that was the other announcement. Is uh, yeah, the whole you know, Warner's is coming out with like an HBO Max app, and everyone was like, oh, is DC universe going to go there? As of right now, they're saying no. So right now they're not changing DC universe. <laughs> on the one hand. Well, no, on all the hands, it's annoying. It's just different hands, how it's annoying. Like, if you already have cable, then it's annoying that there's this DC app where half the stuff is. But for me, I don't have cable. I have this DC app. So I'm like, oh, what the hell? Why are you putting stuff on back on cable? The whole reason I bought the app was it's supposed to have your stuff. It's like, mm-hmm. hey, where go with it? Uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. They, they might show up eventually on DC Universe, but yeah. Because they're, di- yeah, because like when they come back, like Sunday nights are going to be uh, Supergirl and Batwoman every, you know, Sunday night. Okay, and that starts in the fall, right? Yeah, October, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then uh, Arrow's last season is coming up. That's only going to be 10 episodes. Supposedly they're doing. It's been a long time. Yeah, they're, they're oh yeah, this is a, this will be its eighth season, but yeah, it's only 10 yeah. episodes, yeah. yeah. Supposedly the crossover, they're doing Crisis on Infinite Earth, so. On Arrow? On all the show, on all the CW shows. Oh wow! Okay, Crisis. Oh, that's the one where, that's the one where Dick almost died, right? Um, the Crisis. Well, that's the that's that one from the eighties where like Barry Allen died and uh, Super. Oh Girl. right. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of Infinite Crisis. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Crisis on Infinite Earths is the eighties one, right? Yeah, that's probably, like the very first one. Yeah. yeah so. many, there's been too many crises. It's hard to keep them straight. But yeah, the theory is that like, Green Arrow is going to die since it's his last season. Oh, sad. Yeah. But they're really calling it out, so I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Well, all right. Lots to... And then, okay, so Damien is mostly in Teen Titans. He hasn't really been showing up that much in Batman. Is he in Detective or not really? Um, 
there was a uh, there was an arc a few months back like he was he was in it with Batman so like he every so often shows up but yeah he's mostly in like the uh, Teen Titans oh and then uh, he was he was like kind of showing well they did a crossover too but he's been showing up bat a little bit in Deathstroke also mm, okay okay because they're almost trying to like uh, do a story where they're trying to fake everyone out that like oh maybe maybe uh, Slade Wilson is Damien's real father it's <laughs> like just like damn Talia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that didn't come to pass because Damien is very much Bruce Wayne's kid. So yeah. Uh oh, and then the other big new uh, story that made uh headlines, I just thought I'd bring this up. But uh did you see they shut down production on Titan season two because uh I, I just saw that. Did that break today or was it or did it break late last night? Um it might have been yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, something about somebody was killed in a stunt? That's awful. Yeah, I don't know if it was a behind the scene. I'm trying to remember. Um, looking at this right now. Uh, yeah, the special effects coordinator uh, was oh, killed. Geez, that's, oh, yeah, that's... So it's not even like an actual stunt person, I don't think. I think it's just the person, yeah. That's too bad, yeah. You gotta watch, because there's been stories like that the last couple of years, because what was it, last year, I think? Like, someone, like, one of the stuntmen died on The Walking Dead or something? Sure, I mean, I feel, you know, we have such good technology and safety, we think it's not really that risky, but, I mean, it is still a dangerous job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's more expensive, but I'm surprised they, a lot of people don't do, like, more CGI and stuff. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, I don't know if it is more expensive or if they like the challenge. I don't know. And then sometimes, especially when it's on TV, like I don't know, I don't know if they think it doesn't look so that that good sometimes, depending on what the stunt is. But yeah, that's too that's too bad. I feel bad for yeah. your family. Yeah. Oh, but you know what we didn't talk about? We really didn't get into was um the the uh, the episodes of uh, Young Justice Outsiders that came back. Like I told you, there really wasn't much night. There really wasn't any Nightwing in it. He showed up at the end of that last. One episode. Well, the very yeah, the very first one where he was like, "You get to decide today if you want to be a hero or not." And then yeah, then you saw the bats at the at the end. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was. I mean, it's good. The show was very good. Although I must admit that, and I think it's sometimes because you had told me. I will admit that you had told me that there wasn't a ton of Nightwing in it. So I was also trying to like take care of some emails or whatever while I was watching yeah. it. So I wasn't one hundred percent paying attention. But one of the th there are a lot of balls in the air, and sometimes I will admit I'm a little bit confused. Um, probably if I paid attention better, but it's like the stuff with Granny and the trafficking, and then there's always this stuff with Darkseid and like Apocalypse and the light and the reach. Or ah. I think one of the yeah one of the good things about this series is also one of, like its biggest weakness is like they try to do like the whole DC universe and it's just like I think stuff gets lost like yeah. like there's like like remember last se was that last season uh when Zatanna's father you know got trapped in the Doctor Fate helmet they dealt with that they they addressed that in one episode earlier in this season and then it was like never brought up again yeah yeah I, um. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of balls in in the air, and that's cool and sophisticated. But sometimes it feels too sophisticated for a cartoon. And it's like they're trying to bring in all these younger heroes, and it's like, oh, that's cool. But it's like, you know, I I was kind of invested. I kind of like that original team too. Let's see, you know, most of them. Yeah, I'm getting better about the different heroes. Although I feel bad because in the one episode. Where they're oh I guess it's Thanksgiving where they're at the carnival and there were a couple kids the one girl I think maybe they called her Tracy or something I was like uh, I don't know who you are <laughs> um, there are are some people uh, but yeah I don't so much mind um, the heroes but yes yeah, sometimes the sometimes it's almost too layered sometimes with um, yeah the villains that it isn't just meta who I mean because I think you know you could do just the metahuman trafficking yeah. as an earth thing with granny goodness but they're also tying it into i think apocalypse and dark side and then the light and the reach and sometimes i get confused on how they are different or whatever and it's like there's still pressure on the league is lex still you know we still right. yeah. and it's just 
Yeah, that's um, what I wonder if we're gonna it's gonna reveal Nightwing's like doing stuff behind the scenes with like Batman and stuff. But it's like, okay, so then we're not gonna see him for how many weeks? What not till the end of the season or something? Because yeah, they came back. They did like the three episodes like they were doing. But yeah, like I told you, now every week now they're just putting out like one episode. Now it's just one. Yeah, and so it's really cool that it's layered and it isn't. It's not a bad thing. I guess I just have to admit that it's seems like it's kind of requiring me to put more effort into watching a cartoon than I want brain power to put into watching a cartoon. So sometimes I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and then I'm like, uh, never mind. <laughs> it's just, I yeah, again, I don't, I don't know if they just want to like move on with new characters, but it just seems like they're trying to do too much with too many characters. Yeah, and like I said, I'm okay. I'm more okay with all the heroes. It's like different layers of the villain stuff. Oh yeah, so it's kind of. And I'm like, uh, um, yeah. yeah. Let's let's deal with one or two conspiracies. Let's not talk. right. Yeah, that's because I'm like, how many conspiracies are going on here? I mean, grainy goodness, and then and reaching light, and I mean, unless they unless they're going to show they're all connected somehow. But no, I'm, I'm sure they are. Con- I'm sure they are connected. Yeah. But that's what's kind of. Making my brain hurt is. I know, but you're gonna just need one episode to be like, okay, this is how they did this and this and this and this. Yeah, it's how they're connected. So I'm like, I think you could have a perfectly good season that is just metahuman trafficking and granny goodness. Yeah, like you don't need dark side and all this and all this other stuff. You could just do it. well, and of course Tara's in there, and it's like, mm-hmm. is the Judas contract stuff gonna happen in this season, or is that being set up for a future season? I mean. We're already. How many episodes is this supposed to go? Twenty six. I mean, we're already at eight. We already had eighteen. Yeah, I know. That's uh. uh yeah, I'll pull. I think I have it on this app. Uh, but yeah, it's. Or you know what I can do? I can even look at. Well, like that's a lot of balls in the air. DC app. I seven, know. More, seven more episodes when the episodes are only half an hour. Yeah. So I, I was like, maybe some of this stuff is being plant these seeds well and of course that's the other thing is now tara has been like the most of the original judas contract people are not really hanging out with tara right now so now i'm kind of what's going on here you know and is this going to come to fruition this season or is it going to be next and i'll fully i mean whatever i'll deal with it it's it's fine this show is you know it's not about pleasing me but I will definitely be disappointed if the Judas Construct stuff happens and Nightwing isn't really involved. It will definitely make me sad. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're holding off, because they're waiting to bring Nightwing back in. But yeah, they are going to 26 episodes, so there is, looks like, uh, unless they add more, it looks like there's eight left, so. Yeah. There's really not that many. Mm-mm. So, I'm thinking, so honestly, I kind of hope that there, some of these things are left so that we can pick up in the ne- in the in the next season, but I mean, you know, they've always been doing time skips. So, mm. like, how much of a time skip are they going to have one that's not a time skip? Who knows? But then it's like they kind of threw out that Jason Todd, uh, you know, hint. Right. Yeah, exactly. We've never addressed that again. Right. Yeah. So they're de- so that's why I'm wondering: is maybe this Judas contract kind of thing going to be put off until? Hey, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> A subsequent season i mean maybe not but yeah they've definitely they're definitely laying threads down that could be picked up could be picked up later on mm-hmm. so, i mean because i would assume that they have a plan for another another season i, mean, I, would think. I mean, people really like this show yeah but, i don't know, i don't know like how what the downloads or anything are but or the streaming but yeah i mean everyone clamored for neither another season right so, so yeah they'll do another season especially now that they have this app right yeah okay yeah, exactly. So, good. Um, I really felt though in that one episode. Sorry, I watched them all in a row, so yeah. it's kind of running together. But when Beast Boy made his public team, and Artemis was like, "Oh, I can't be on it. I'm too old." When did that happen? And I was like, "Oh man, Artemis, I feel you there." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, I would, just, I would just like an episode, of almost like a reunion episode with that original team. <laughs> yeah, see what they're all up to. Well, yeah, and what's gonna happen with Wally? Oh yeah. Is he gonna stay dead? That's so hard. But I mean, whatever. Maybe he will. Who knows? You know, they're just, like come out of the speed force. But yeah, I'm just like, are they? Are they gonna leave him dead? Or? Right. Well, and I've also been kind of. I mean, I don't know. Disappointed. 
Uh, but I was really getting into Black Lightning, and then he's like barely been in it. These yeah, times. that's what I was gonna say. I was like, where not, where's Black Lightning? What happened? Because he was cool. You introduced him this season. Why didn't you? No, he was really cool and felt like a vital part. But then, yeah, I mean, I he thought... only appeared like sitting on the couch next to the doctor. I know. I'm like, hey, I'm he's like, got emotion. He's one of those new characters. Why you where'd he go? Right. I guess it cost of being too old. I guess. That's to stay on the couch. Um. That was only, I mean, again, not a huge thing, but I did find it a little bit funny that the Outsiders are as the name of the public team. <laughs> because I always thought in the comics, so correct me if I'm wrong, though, because I might be, weren't the Outsiders even more covert and hidden than the Titans, Teen Titans? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, back in, I'm trying to remember, back in the 80s, it was just like, when Batman first started, I think it was just like, oh, I'm sick of the league and its rules. <laughs> right. Well, and then I'm thinking of um, Outsiders. Well, I think it was the Winnick series, maybe. Which oh, was, yeah, with Dick, yeah. Was, like, not totally my cup of tea. It was a little too dark yeah. um, for me. But I thought part of it was, you know, all that stuff happened with the Titans and, you know, yeah. plus this. And it was like, ah, you know, stuff has become too public. And so they let the Young Justice become Teen Titans. And then the Titans. Yeah, like we're kind of trying to do black ops, so I thought it was supposed to be even more secretive. But here, it's less secretive. I think it, they, I don't know, they're just trying to play off the title, and yeah, Beast was just like, "No, we're not your uh, daddy right. superheroes. We play by our own rules." I mean, yeah, like I get it; it makes sense, but it's also just kind of funny because I thought, like in the comics, the outsiders were more but, secretive than Titans or Young Justice. And I just love how like Batman and Nightwing and everyone are just like, yeah, I'll let them distract the light and everyone <laughs> once they don't see what we're doing. Right. Yeah. But I, I, just, I just wish we'd see what they're doing behind the scenes. Right. Well, I mean, at some point we're yeah. going to have to, but yeah, like I said, there's so many balls in the air. It's craziness. Mm -hmm. But we shall see. I mean, it's it's good and and well, and well done. Yeah. But we shall see. we shall see. So anything else? Because I think we hit we hit a lot of topics. Um. Yeah. I think that's it. Aside from uh, what is it that's coming out in October? Is it called Dark Multiverse? Or oh Dark yeah, 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 yeah. Um, was it Tales? Of, here, let me look it up. Uh, yeah, Tales. Some Tales of the Dark Multiverse or something like that. Yeah, because uh, the uh, the first two ones we're gonna do is like the Death of Superman, where Superman basically doesn't come back, and Lois like goes nuts and gets Superman's powers, but yeah, the one I'm really looking forward to is Nightfall. Right, yeah. So that Nightfall, I think, is the first one, right? And it's going to be John Paul Valley stayed Batman. So that yeah, like Bruce that, like, fails to take him down. Yeah. yeah I think that seems pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's good. And then I saw in the article that they have other plan, other. I think if, the, if those two go well, they have some other ideas. And they said that one of them was. Um, New Teen Titans, the Judas Contract. So I'm oh, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I I think they already have plans, but yeah, even so if that they, would be that would be pretty cool. Especially if they sell well. Oh yeah, I'm sure they're going to get more of these. So yeah, what do you think would be the dark thing in the Judas Contract? Uh, Deathstroke wins, maybe, or right. That's what I'm. That's kill, what I'm kill some Titans, maybe. Yeah, or some of the Titans. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for the link. I, there's just so many links because Comic Con this weekend. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it sounds it sounds good, and that's the kind of I like it when they do. Maybe it's because I'm I don't know slightly conservative um, when it comes to the characters, but I like it when they do these kinds of things as like. Elseworlds, the multiverse, yeah. that kind of stuff. Instead of trying to shoehorn yet more things into canon, when they're like, "Hey, I have this cool idea. Let's just do it as a as a one off." Like I appreciated, um, and it turned out to be much better than I thought. I feel like they didn't bill it right when they did Nightwing: New World Order. When mm -hmm. they, that, they were like, "Dude becomes a fascist," and I'm like, "Ah, oh, this sounds terrible." Um, but it turns out it wasn't terrible. It was very interesting. Um, but I appreciated that. I just thought that they kind of sold it wrong at the beginning. Um, but I thought that was really good. That it was like, "Hey, this is an Elseworlds. Like, we're not trying to, you know, stick this into canon, yeah. uh, kind of thing." Because canon is kind of already overloaded. So, you know, I like when they do stuff like that. 
But yeah, the official title is Tales from the Dark Multiverse. Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. Oh, yeah. So. I said I cannot wait for that Nightfall one. Well, good thing it's first. You only have to wait till October. Yeah, I mean, and the Superman one will be good, too. But yeah, that's the one I'm really looking forward to is that Batman one. Sure. Yeah, has John Val Valley popped up in New 52? Is Azrael in it? Yeah, he's 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 around. I think he's on that team with Starfire and uh, Cyborg right now. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So John Paul Valley's in space. Um, yeah. Well, wild. Yeah. All right. So should we get out of here? Yeah, I think that I think that's everything, right? Yeah. So yeah, next time we'll be covering uh, Nightwing sixty three. I'm sure we'll be getting more Talon. Yeah, ho- hopefully. And yeah, it was William Cobb again. I thought he kind of got frozen, but I guess he got unfrozen. No, well, again, if you get frozen, you're gonna get unfrozen, I guess. When you're like, you're already dead, so you know, freezing and unfreezing doesn't really phase you at that point. Nope, keeps you young, as Captain America. <laughs> That's true, and he wasn't even really dead. Huh. Nope. Oh wait, I was gonna ask real quick. So, what um, when Lex Luthor did his fake dead thing or whatever, what what was that in? Was that in Justice League or Superman or what? Um, well, he, he, a lot of it's in Justice League, but there was a Year of the Villain like one shot that came out. Was it like a month or two ago? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've read that one yet. I think we got it, but I don't. Yeah. It was um yeah because I think it. Oh, I'm trying to remember. It might have been like a. They might have like released it as like a cheap. It might have been like you know like when they, sometimes they release those ones for like a you know like next to. Oh, them. I think it might have even been a quarter or something like that. Maybe I think so because I think they did. Um, they might have released it around New Comic Book Day. Yeah, I think I a lot of a lot of the stores might have just put it on this table as a free comic book because it was only a quarter. Yeah. Oh, and then it's been months, but back when it happened, we forgot the last issue of Titans was actually pretty good. Oh yeah, did you? I don't think I don't know if I even read the last issue. I did. I kept getting it, but the last issue they, you know, wrap their issue up. Uh, but then a lot of it is Raven remembering when she first joined the team, and it's her having a conversation with Nightwing. Um, and he's kind of like, oh, you know, I got issues, kind of thing. And he's like, it's cool. We all have issues. Blah blah. Anyway, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, he was, you know, back in that back in that last one, and it felt very true to his character. But yeah, see, take night, take Nightwing out of the book, yeah, it gets canceled. That's another reason I figure they need to bring it back. Don't they want to bring the Titans title back for when the show starts up again? You would think so, yeah. Again, like maybe they're waiting until it becomes Nightwing on the show. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Yes. All right. So yes, send your thoughts on <laughs> any of the stuff we talked about tonight. Cause there's a lot of stuff. Uh. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Follow Nightwing News on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, follow Capes and Lunatics on Instagram. Uh, send the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And go check out Work in Progress, capesandlunatics.org. All right. And I know uh, you never you never promote yourself, but uh, <laughs> go get the book. Uh, go get the book. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Uh, Grayson, yes. The Grayson Boy Wonder. You should have got it on Prime Day. <laughs> I don't know if it was on sale. <laughs> so what? Is it was still on there? Go get it. <laughs> and never forget, Optimus Prime died for you, so Prime Day would be possible. Yeah, that's true. It was a noble sacrifice of his. Oh, <laughs> uh, my eight-year-old self was still like, what? <laughs> Not Optimus. No, I don't. I don't know. They're canceling the the first toy line. What? All right. So yes, thanks everyone for joining us. As I ramble. Oh, bring back our Nightwing. <laughs> yes. Comics, comics, cartoons. And where was this? Where was this live action movie we were promised? <laughs> yeah. All bring back Dick. I'm tired of Rick. <laughs> I know. I. I don't know. I, I guess I'm willing to wait for the Nightwing movie if it, is, if it means they get it right. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Redo that whole movie universe, then try it. And please make it more Shazam than Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> Not all the way Shazam, but a little more that way than that way. Right. Alright, everyone. Remember Grayson's. Well, keep flying, Grayson's. <laughs>